My body, your choice. How about your skull, my gun? Your neck, my sword. Your face, this pretty little fish. Listen, if I hear any dude tell a girl, your body, my choice, I'm going to immediately knock your fucking teeth down your throat. You've been warned. This is a message for all of the Gen Z dudes who keep commenting your body, my choice in the replies of every Gen Z woman they come across. Because the first broccoli-headed mother that I over here telling the beautiful cluster of stardust that is the woman in front of him that it's her body, his choice, is going to catch a brick to the face with all of the rage that I have pent up over several decades of living in a red state. What are these people talking about? Your body, my choice? This is the first I've heard this phrase, and I've been a Trump supporter for seven years. I'm afraid I just don't believe this came from Trump supporters. In fact, I looked up the phrase on multiple social media sites, and the only famous person that I could find posting the phrase, your body, my choice, was Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes doesn't support Trump. He hates Trump now. He has for quite some time. Regardless, I just don't believe that this is some sort of MAGA slogan, because it just isn't correct. No Trump supporter would be saying that, because it simply isn't true. What if I explained it this way? Many, many years ago, these cartoon characters found a place somewhere in America, settled there, and decided to call it Springfield. And when those settlers conceived the idea of what Springfield would be, half of them made it clear that they wanted to be able to marry their own cousins. Yes, and marry our cousins. I was... But what are you talking about, Shelbyville? Why would we want to marry our cousins? Because they're so attractive. But the other half of the settlers were not interested in inbreeding. So the people who wanted to marry their cousins started another town called Shelbyville right next door. And they all lived happily ever after. The point is, no one's taking away your rights or your freedoms. If you happen to live in one of these 13 states that made abortion illegal, and for whatever reason you just want to murder your child, then you can just drive to one of the other 37 states where they will happily take money in exchange for murdering your baby. And then you can just drive back home. You could almost say, it's your choice.